these are old trampoline tarps that got holes in them or got some of the grommets missing or whatever and people threw them out. I have three of them and they're, oh, one of them's about six feet around and the others are about eight or ten feet around. What I do is, you see I have this pole, can I show you the pole? Yeah, I have this pole with a parachute on it for some privacy and I tie the, um, the trampoline tarps down and then I extend them, I take bottles of water tied to ropes, throw them over the trailer, uh, and the other end of the rope is tied to the trampoline, but I don't want them up in the winter because I wanted the sun shining on the trailer. So these are lying here waiting for me to get started with them again. Um, that's the trailer to my gasoline-powered bicycle that Ray vandalized and I have to fix. You see here where I was trying to do some nice stuff. Of course, in the middle of packing and stuff, everything got discombobulated. This was all covered with um, cheap plastic vinyl uh, tablecloths to keep the snow and stuff off. On the back fence, I put up some um, decorations and flags and whatnot, again, to have a little privacy, and then just hung pretties in the trees. But it's all got messed up because of the wind and me trying to pack to move and... There's clutter and junk and all this was frozen. I couldn't even move any of this stuff until like a couple of weeks ago. So these are my barrels of my tools and um, yard stuff and whatnot in them. Um, and there's Fatty Waddy. And there's Weasel. So it's not really as awful as I thought it was. Of course, when it was covered with snow and ice, it felt pretty yucky. There's a spot back there where I got to clean up dog poop. There's a spot on the other side of the trailer where I have to clean up dog poop. This morning I tried to put this tarp up so I could cover the air conditioners right above the door. And what I do is, like I said, I tie plastic, uh, plastic bottles with a little water in them, soda bottles, because they're slippery and they'll slide back and forth. I tie them to rope and I toss them over the trailer. Well, they both got caught on the air conditioner, which ties up my rope, and I don't have a way to get up there and fetch them and get my rope back. Because I want to put this tarp up for temporary for a little bit of protection from rain. Because you see, I don't have any way to protect myself from rain. It just comes in. And as you see, I'm also hanging my coats on the door now. So I'd really like them not to get messed up. So i got to go get some more rope and find a couple more soda bottles and put water in them. And um, this is a bunch of clutter that just got knocked down and frozen into the ground. And now it's thawed out and I can clean it up. And over in this chair, that's Ivan. The cats are thrilled. It's a beautiful warm day. I'm out here in shorts and a t-shirt. So this is a before, and I'll show you an after when I get to after. There's my unusual hanging shelf that I keep plastic tarps and stuff in to cover things. That's my utility trailer. I'm going to put a lot of these trash barrels with um, gardening supplies and whatnot in the utility trailer so I have more um, space in the yard for a weasel and whatnot. And then i got to weasel proof it so weasel can't get out. Right now there's no gate. There should be a gate right there. And you see I found these things are some sort of um, display, something to hang stuff on in a store. There were about nine or ten of them. And I brought them home on a gasoline-powered bike and put them around the yard so Weasel can't get out. And I've got one that's a little taller that I use as a gate so he can't jump over it. So it's not as horrible as I made it out to be, but you can see this is unacceptable. And I've been out here working on it this morning, got a bunch of clutter and trash cleaned up. A long way to go, trying not to get demoralized and stuff. I found four quarters today, which means I can go to the water machine. Um, purified water costs uh, 25 cents a gallon, but if you put in a dollar, you get um, five gallons because they think you're filling a five-gallon jug, and I just take five one-gallon jugs and real quick move them one to the other and end up with a free gallon of water for uh, a dollar. And I didn't know I had any quarters, so I've been living without my bottled water and been having to use tap water, which worries me because I don't want to mess up my coffee pot. I usually only use tap water for bathing and dishwashing and that sort of stuff and animal water. So I'm getting back to it, and I've done a pretty good job getting started this morning. And by the time I get done, it's going to be really nice because it was before, so I know I can do it again. And where'd the dog go? Because I can't see in this viewfinder, you know that? It's a real problem. Where's my dog? There's the end of the tarp. And there's my dog. Ta-da. All right, so uh, heading off to get water pretty soon. And I'm going to do a before and after edit this together with the finished one so you can see what it's going to look like when it's done. Thanks for your support. See you. Bye.